Right, y'all, and that's how you pretty much successfully add all your drive modes. All right, so before we start this, uh, yes, you do gotta have a taser though. It's two hundred and fifty dollars. It's on Amazon. You can get this off of Amazon right now. Need to take it and stick it down below. But you want to turn your car off, and then you open and close your door, yo. So you open and close your door, you went to your gauges, and everything is done lighting up. So as y'all can see, it's no more track mode. Launch control is still on here, but the performance page is what it's loaded, so I gotta give it a second. But this is pretty much all you'll get. And performance setting on, yes. Super track pack mode on, yes. That's so if you got paddles in your RT, press yes. You wanna I can't see it say SRT drive mode. I wanna put that one on because that's how you get the uh the SRT pages on here. Half the beat. It's 2023 and I'm just asking for a half a G. I took his five dollars and smacked his ass for three bags of weed. Solid. I see the grass get long. Snakes, I'm gon' mow it. I'm gon' blow like brown. Racks on me, I'm sorry. Talk here, top of the morning. I'm in the car, got motion. Big bang rock, can't fold it. All right, so before we start this, uh, yes, you do gotta have a taser though. It's two hundred and fifty dollars. It's on Amazon. You can get this off of Amazon right now. What you do is, you pretty much need to take it and stick it down below so i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about in a second but i'm gonna uh cut on the car real quick and i'm gonna show y'all everything that i done to my car and then i'm gonna unmarry it so i can show y'all how my car was before i even had it too so y'all can see what it actually done did to my car so when you go to the gauge as you can see uh my info my info show way different than a normal rt so damn why my shit look so dirty? Way different than a, a, a regular RT, a base model RT, if you know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know that the gauges don't look like this. So this look a little different than what your uh, stock RT would. And then my performance pitches as well. As y'all can see, like these, I get way more than you normally would. As you can see, my breaking distance, the G-forces, all of that. My lap history, the top speed. As y'all can see, man. So you get all of this screen set up and you get the diagnostic so pretty much you can run the diagnostic on your car so like this pretty much like the scanner like if you was to go to AutoZone to see what was wrong with your car type and this will pretty much tell you but it's nothing wrong with my car right now so it's not gonna show any type of code right now but we're gonna show y'all what it got on the screen wise besides so on the screen what I got is I got track mode uh, well I got SRT pages so I got custom sport track uh, sport and track and that's all functional as y'all can see you could change it pretty much uh the race options got the performance pages too so my performance pages look way different than what the normal rts do and then i'm gonna show you how to change that so boom as you can see it say the srt performance pages instead of the rt and then you see how it look way different they don't normally look like this then i got the timers gauges as y'all can see this this setup look way different so I, Setup look way different. So we're gonna get y'all boys in this video and show y'all how to install it so y'all can have this on y'all car man. And when you're doing this, you want your car off first. Um, because you don't want it all the way on. So what you want to do is you want to take it and put it in run mode. So you put your car on run mode, okay? You stick the taser in from the bottom down below right by your leg y'all so it go in right down there by the port it's a little port right here y'all gonna uh, see what i'm talking about so once you do that you go all the way to number six the audio section in your dash i meant not in your yeah in your gauge cluster pretty much and then so what you want to do is you hold left and you hold and cancel to go through each of the uh, sections on what the uh, taser offers. So let me show y'all what I mean in a second. We held lift and then cancel right quick to get to the uh, American screen. I couldn't do it with two hands. So as y'all can see though, I automatically went back to the normal RT font as y'all can see. It look a little different. So we're going to do another uh, cycle of the marionette real quick. And we're going to get rid of all the different drive balls and all of that stuff. See y'all can see the nine went away. And then we're going to do the rest real quick. So go back to the audio section like i said you hold this and then you press cancel but i can't do it with two hands right now so i'm about to do it real quick and show y'all what screen to get to real quick but you use cancel to cycle through a trough but you hold this at the same time when i married it you want to do a full reboot on your car two times y'all so you do a full reboot 
two times, you pretty much land your car, count down 120 seconds twice. And then once you're done with that, you want to open and close your door. So I'm going to show you all what I mean in a second once it's done counting down. All of these lights and stuff will flash, and that's normal for it too, so y'all though. So, uh, don't freak out. Don't, yo, ain't nothing wrong with your car. It's just doing what it got to do. It's getting tuned, pretty much. So, let us do its thing, and then when it's done, you want to uh, let your car do a sleep cycle. And I'm going to show y'all what a sleep cycle is in a second. But you want to turn your car off, and then you open and close your door, y'all. So, you open and close your door, and you wait till your gauges, and everything is done lighting up. Nothing light up. Nothing on. Then you turn it back on and you put it back in run mode, okay? And as y'all can see, like my splash screen different. Let me show y'all my uh, my normal thing. See y'all, look, if you go to performance control, that's all I got. I don't have, uh-oh, I just got performance controls, y'all. So look, if I go to my setup and stuff, I don't have nothing like I used to. So as y'all can see, it's no more track mode. Launch control is still on here, but the performance page is what it started, so I gotta give it a second. But it's pretty much all you'll get, and then you just get the sport mode. You see how the flag come up, and that's pretty much it. You don't get nothing else but this. Um, let me go on my dash and let me show y'all. So, if you go to vehicle info, look, the font is different. What I'm this is what I meant by the different font, like it show in a way smaller font, and then it don't show as much as the other one did. And then, as well as the performance, like I said, these are the only two that show up for performance. And as y'all can see, um, it's pretty much like when you taste it, you get a whole lot of extra. For whatever reason, my performance page is bugged out and it ain't loading. So we ain't going to worry about that. But I'm going to just show y'all boys how to install this in your car real quick so we can get y'all looking fly in your RTs, SXTs, GTs, whatever trim you got pretty much. And if you want to the memory screen, you hold cancel it, then you uh, hold left. Like I said, don't forget that, y'all. Don't forget you got to do that second reboot. And then, like I said, don't worry about none of this, y'all. It's all normal for it to do all of this. It's going to do its thing. But this is our second reboot. This is the second reboot. And we about to show y'all like what else we got to do real quick. Y'all how to get the red push the start button on the screen. I'm going to show y'all how to get the performance pages. I'm going to show y'all how to get the different splash screens. Um, track mode, sport mode, custom, eco mode. I'm going to show y'all how to get all that, man. So just make sure y'all stick it to the end because we're going to get y'all boys right, man. Turn it off. Open and close. Boom. Then we're gonna let it fully sleep, right? Now that it's in fully sleep mode, turn it back on run. Boom. You go to messages. Damn, shit, get on my face, man. I meant not messages. You wanna go to audio, y'all. I apologize. You want to go to audio, and then, like I said, you want to go to marry. So, first thing you want to do is marry it, and then you're going to start adding all the little stuff that you want to do to it, okay? And then, by marrying it, like I said, when you want to select the stuff that you want on your car, you hold and left, and then you press the cruise control, but this is how you cycle through everything, okay? So, as y'all can see, we done married it, so now I'm about to show y'all how to switch through every mode that you can get, pretty much. That's the performance, so let me show y'all for the performance pages and on everything what you can uh, get. So, once you get to this, like I said, this is about to be giving you, like, all the stuff that I don't have. As y'all can see, I don't went through the SRT setting, and I clicked yes. As y'all can see at the top, this is the SRT setting. So, when you add the SRT setting, y'all... You get all of the SRT stuff that I had. So y'all see it's in a way bigger font and you get all of this. And then I'm about to show y'all everything else that you get. So let me go ahead. Oh yeah, you get the diagnosis too when you do the SRT setting, y'all. It's a whole lot of true unlock, man. So make sure y'all really invest in this because it's a real nice function. But you put yes on it, that's what I can see. The performance setting on yes. Super track pack mode on yes. That's what STP means. Put that on yes, y'all. If you do got the super track pack button, press that so that way you press the button and then it'll come on the screen. So if you got paddles in your RT, press yes. You want to have that on just so it'll make sure they read because if you don't, they won't actually function if y'all know what I'm trying to say. So I can't see it say SRT drive mode. Y'all want to put that one on because that's how you get the uh, the SRT pages on here, y'all. That's a real important step on this one. So go ahead and uh, put that on the yes. Mode on here as well. Y'all want to go ahead and turn that on the yes so that way y'all
y'all gonna have, have eco mode in your RT, SXT, or any other trim that y'all got that y'all don't have it in. So if you want it, you go ahead and put this on yes, and that way it'll turn it on for y'all. DRL is pretty much your daytime running lights. This is pretty much showing you what uh daytime running light modes you want to have it in. So I put mine on SRT because that's my um uh, my preference personally so you can put this on whatever you want to put my splash screen on hellcat because i don't know if y'all can see but if you put it on the hellcat splash screen then you your gauge is light up a little red i don't set every mode you want you want to go ahead and do a full reboot and i'm gonna show y'all what it's looking like after we done did our full two reboots and everything pretty much like we don't do it the first time i can see automatically when you starting it up i mean as it's doing this little function you see you get this the light's gonna glow up again it's gonna do all of that but just give it a second Charlie and then to wrap it up so the last little thing you want to do y'all so the last couple of modes to get to the last couple of modes that you didn't see on that one you got to turn the car fully on and then yes y'all like i said this got you the srt pages and everything um once the performance page is loaded i'm gonna show y'all but as you can see um it's not like how it was as y'all seen it was you didn't have this but and then you see as my screen i got the red i don't know if y'all can peep it but i got the red uh hellcat clusters like it's supposed to i'm gonna show y'all the other little stuff all right y'all and that's how you pretty much successfully add all your drive modes and all the hellcat drive modes and everything to your uh, dodge challenger and without further ado, we're going to end this video right here, man. So make sure y'all boys like, comment, share, subscribe. And we're going to end this motherfucker right here. Y'all still. Yeah, baby daddy broke. No need for him to ride her wheel. Yeah. Look at my racks. Solid. I see the grass getting long. Snakes. I'm going to mow it. I'm going to blow like brown. Racks on me. I'm sorry. Talk here. Talk in the morning. I'm in the car. Got motion. Bib ain't wrong. Can't fall.